What's up everyone, this is Zane Snug back once again for some more Let's Play Pokemon Silver. In the last part, we got here to Kanto, and we defeated Lieutenant Surge. In this episode, we're solving a huge problem that Kanto has yet to overcome. And that is that the power plant is missing a part. Hold on. Need to change my Pokemon. Be right back. All this trouble just to go for the one Pokemon box. But anywho, let's get on with solving this mystery. Be good if I can actually get myself oriented correctly. Great, now I have to defeat these people. I'll be skipping over these. Since they're not that hard. Ah, uh, just another day for me, I guess. Damn it. Whoa, you suck. Let's see if we can get... Ah, uh, crap. More madness. This is not Sparta, this is Kento! Only like three minutes in, and I'm already getting ticked off. I'm always mucking with the audio. I can never find a median in my audio volume. And more crap. Just another day. Let's see. Let us see what can be seen. We gotta make our way to the power plant. Preferably without random encounters. Thank you. Come on, not Lapras. Where's the door? There it is. Looks like to clean the place up a bit. They broke into the power plant. What is the welcoming to? Ah, uh, dude, that's kind of normal. Plant has been abandoned in the past. We got back up and running to provide power to the magnet train. And the magnet train is the only way to go through Kanto and Johto the quickest way. I'm ready to blast someone. How dare they ruin my generator? Spend so much time on it. If I catch him, he's going to get a taste of my zap cannon. I guess you can already tell what your reward is for getting it back then. Even though one of my Pokemon automatically... What the? Just got work from Cerulean. Seems a shady character has been loitering around. As for cooperation, do I really have a choice? I'll answer that for you. No! Now we gotta go all the way back. It's for one guy screwing with the generators. If it's a Team Rocket member, I'm gonna bash his head in. Screw you, man. I ain't fighting you. Um, which way was it? Okay, this way. I don't know which way to go. I wasn't littering. That's what you get for accusing me of l littering, you douche. Come on, Paris. Pick up the pace. Whoa. It is a rocket member. You have already seen me. I made a big mistake. Forget you signed me, okay? You're nothing. Oh, no. You ain't getting away, buddy. I'm gonna track your ass down. Now where did he go? Notice here. Stamp out thievery and make the city a friendly, cheer place. Well, obviously he wouldn't go in there. There you are. Do you speak English? I'll leave this one in just cause 
It's semi-important to the story because I have to get that damn generator back. Is that like a standard thing that you guys have to do just to get a freaking Pokemon? You have to pick a Zubat? <sighs> Whatever. Punch it in the throat. Give him the size of the thing's mouth. No pun intended, but... <laughs> well, that wasn't really a pun, that was kind of stupid. But you get what I mean. It's caveman talk? Gene part, he hit it in the gym. I'm guessing, yep. No more Team Rocket. I'm guessing that was the last guy who didn't get informed. Moron. So he said it was in this area. There we go. There it is. Wouldn't it be kind of dangerous to put it in a water-filled area? I'm pretty sure electronics don't like be getting wet. Not reliable to zap someone or electrocute them. There's not a whole lot of common sense in this, is there? At least I defeated all these people, so it's easier to get back. Restore it. I should have brought a bird Pokemon with me. Make this whole trip a whole lot faster. Alright, here's your damn machine part. Where are you, fat ass? Ah, that's the missing part for my beloved generator. I found it. And he gives you Zap Cannon. Powerful technique. No one would consider it accurate, but it packs a wall up. So it's essentially like dynamic punch. It doesn't always hit, but when it does, it's gonna hurt. Now that the generator is up and running, the whole region is come back to life. Huh. One, just another day in life. The Pokemon Trainer. Well, that was fast. Are you joking me? Freaking Rattata's followed me here. Alright, before our time runs out, we should do something very quickly, and that jump was pointless since I'm just gonna go back up there fix the stupid mistake. Anyway, as I was saying, before we run out of time, we should go visit someone. Yes, I already defeated everyone on this road to make it a whole lot easier and I don't have to make too many cuts. Oh. Hello. It's Misty! You have a bug ass now? You call people like you? Pest. You heard me right, Pest. Those badges you have, are they Johto Gym badges? If you have eight, you must be good. I'm just really Gym, I'll be happy to take you on. Looks like Misty's still up to her gym metering. So yeah, it's good to see that these guys haven't gotten... Haven't... What's the problem with me? I can't think of my right word to say! They haven't stepped outside their boundaries. I don't want to fight all these people. Haha. <laughs> I love surf, it's so cheap. I get better things to do than waste my time with these lackeys. Alright. Let's fight Misty. Expecting you, you pest. I have a lot of gym, Johto gym badges, but you better not take me lightly. 
What if Pokemon are tough? Well, it seems that you got a different bikini. Gotta say, I like this one better. It seems that our Psyduck has evolved into a Gold Duck. Uh, Misty's Pokemon are not that hard to beat. As long as you have at least one high level grass type or electric type, you can take them down fast. Uh, but the other, but two of them, I no wait, three of them are are dual types. She has a Lapras, she has a Starmie, and she has a Quagsire. So it's best to have have more electric electric types than grass because well you're gonna hit three out of four because Quagsire isn't affected by oh crap I hate Paris song it's such a cop out move Paris song pretty much makes both Pokemon die in the same time and I still call it a cop out because you have no say in the matter Well, let's continue on. She's got two more. She's got Quagsire. Switch back to Laurel. I always hated Quagsire. It looks like it looks like a looks like a handicapped Pokemon. I'm not gonna say the R word because I don't like using it for people who who are all right retarded. He looks retarded. Retarded. Okay. Get that rage out of the way. Her last one is Starmie. I'm guessing she'll let the other one go and let her star you turn into one. I'm not too sure. I'm making this harder than it has to be. Now, Starmie can be a bit of a pain in the ass because it's got ice type moves and it can heal itself. And it's at the same level as mine. But, Pell Dance is pretty strong. One use of it, and we'll take it down. You really are good. I'll admit that you are skilled. It's the Cascade Badge. And so that gives us two Kanto Gym Badges under our belts. Are there many strong trainers in Johto? Like you, I mean. I travel one day so I can battle some skilled trainers. Alright, with that sappy crap out of the way, let's get out of here. I know they won't leave the water. <laughs> I don't think they even fight you after you defeat Misty anyway. With that out of the way, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Silver. We'll have another gym battle, hopefully two, in the same episode. See you guys then!